Hi guys, so this is my first ever video tutorial, so I'm kind of nervous, but we'll just jump straight into it. Um, first off, I'm using my Anika primer. I guess I'll just put all the products listing in the little box, whatever you call it, down below. Um, then I'm using my Crayolin concealer wheel. Um, I would usually use a bit of the green in this to cover a lot of my redness, but since I'll be using a cream foundation to cover most of it, I'm not going to bother today. But I'm just using this to cover my, you know, my pimples, redness, anything really um, that I feel needs to be covered. Here's my first video tutorial, so do take it easy on me. I know the focus isn't the best, it's not very clear, and I'm not doing much zooming or I'm not showing you the products, only because I don't know anything about computers or cameras or anything. So I'm just trying to see how I like the program and, you know, see what you guys think of me posting something first rather than spending days trying to edit a video when I don't really know how to use the program. So I'll just post this, see what you guys think, and then I'm going to spend a couple weeks, you know, doing more on the program with things and on the, on the camera with things like focus and, and holding up products because I tried that and it just did not focus itself. So I'll get to that and hopefully you guys are okay with this video, even though it's not the best quality. Um, it's more of a practice run more than anything. Now I'm jumping into my cream foundation. I'm just using this to cover my main blotches of redness on my face. I'm now just going with my concealer and covering up any redness and veininess I have on my eyelids. I do tend to get really red on my eyelids so it's good to cover that up before putting an eyeshadow or an eyeshadow base on top because that won't hide any of the colour. Especially if you're going to go put a nice you know, eyeshadow smoky eye on top. All you're going to see is that redness in the veins. Um, now I'm going in with my MAC face and body and I'm just going to apply that all over my face. I love the texture of this and I love the formula. It feels so great on your skin. Um, it is very low coverage, so you do have to build it up yourself, which I personally love. Um, yeah, I really, really love this. Um, I'm using the shade N1, which is still very orange for me. Um, if you have any recommendations on foundations I could use, um, I've been searching for years trying to find the best foundation for me, liquid foundation. Um, but I just seem to get everything orange. So um, just comment or whatever you're supposed to do here on YouTube and let me know. So now I'm going to do my brows. I'll put what I'm using in the box thing below. Um, I basically just get an angled brush, put the product on my hand, the pencil on my hand, and I just outline my brow or shape it to what I want the shape to be, and I fill it in. I usually do use the MAC self-propelling um, eyebrow pencil in Strut, but I run out of that after like a year of having it, so, you know, this is basically the same colour, it's just a little bit stronger if I were to use the pencil on my brow, but I put it on my hand first so it dulls it down a bit. Um, but that's basically what I do, and then I use a concealer br brush to fix up any mistakes I have made.
after I finish my brows, I just go through with a foundation brush with whatever's left on the brush and just fix up any bumps and mistakes I have made. It's good to just make sure, you know, any mistakes, any bumps, any hairs that you haven't filled in, just get in there at the end and do it before you follow on with your powder. So now it's onto eyes. I'm using my under eye primer, brightening primer by Smashbox. Um, I'm really, really into this primer at the moment. Um, it goes well with really any other primers or foundations that you use. Um, sometimes I've found that other foundations don't really go well with my under eye primer, but this one really does work well. It's brightening as well, so it'll any dark under eye circles that you have, it'll you know help them not be visible. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, then I'm using my Too Faced Eyeshadow Primer or Helper. This is one of my favourite, well, one of the best eyeshadow primers I have come across. Um, other ones have tended to crease themselves and they're actually supposed to stop other eyeshadows from creasing. So this is really, really good. Um, after that, I'm using my Bobbi Brown Cream Eyeshadow. This is a holy grail product. Like, it's absolutely amazing. Um, some cream eyeshadows I've come across crease and they just smudge and they'll come off over 24 hours but I swear I could leave this on for like two weeks and it wouldn't even come off um, which is really surprising because a lot of the time some cream eyeshadows do crease um, it'll dry and it will feel like a normal shadow it is definitely amazing and worth the money Now I'm using my Too Faced Prep and Prime translucent powder. I'm just using a big fluffy powder brush and putting this all over my all around my face. <laughs> I'm just pressing it into under my eyes and places where I know that the foundation hasn't exactly set very quickly. <laughs> um, yeah, but here's like my favourite translucent powder. It's really really good. It sets nicely and it doesn't leave blotches. It doesn't feel too powdery and it doesn't you know cake up and get into your pores. Now I'm going in with my um, Hourglass Luminous Lighting Powder, I think that's what it's called. Um, I'm just putting that where I would contour, it just adds a nice warmth underneath my contour. Um, I am very pale so I do like having a bit of warmth on my face before I go in with a contour so it doesn't give that dirty, dirty dark line. <laughs> then I'm going in with my NARS Bronzing Powder in Laguna. I think every makeup artist or makeup enthusiast has this or wants to have this in their kit. Um, it's just a generally good contour powder. Just use the same brush that you used with the powder before this and just softly put it basically on top of where you put that powder. Don't use too much product on the brush because it's a lot easier to put on than it is to take away. So be very light handed when it comes to products like this, especially if you are pale because you will just look like you just put a dirty line across your face. Now I'm using my NARS highlighter in Albatross. I'm just putting this on the cheekbones, my nose, forehead, cupid's bow and chin. Um, I do like using a bit more contour and highlight than you guys probably think looks good, but it's just the way I like to do my makeup and I am quite pale so I like adding that bit of dimension to my face rather than just being that one, one shade of pale because it just looks bad. <laughs> um, so I'm just blending it in with my contour colour so it doesn't look like two harsh lines. Then I'm going to go and grab my NARS blush in Deep Throat. Their colours are so funny, I love them. Um, I'm just popping that on the apples of my cheek, blending it with my highlight and contour so it doesn't look like a round circle basically. Um, if you put too much on it, it's not, on the end, not the end of the world. I'm just going to grab my big fluffy brush and blend it all in so it doesn't look too crazy. So I'm just putting some of the Lucas Purple ointment on my lips. I think everyone has this in their bag or in their makeup kit. Um, it's just good in winter to keep them nice and hydrated and healthy because flaky lips with a lipstick just does not look good.
Then I'm just grabbing the same pencil I used on my eyebrows. I'm just putting it on my lash line and my waterline. This look, this eye look has been requested by a few people now um, on my Facebook page and on my Instagram. So this is why I've made it my first look because it is very, very simple and foolproof. Anyone can do it. All you need is a pencil and one eyeshadow colour really and a good blending brush. Um, so that's why I'm doing it. Keep in mind this is a practice run so I will be going into more detailed looks as I get to know this program a bit better. After I've put pencil under both eyes, I just grab a concealer brush and make them even, make the colour even. Um, it's, it's important because you're not going to do much else with it apart from putting a bit of shadow on top to soften it up. Now I'm just grabbing my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. It actually smells like chocolate. It is amazing. Um, I'm just grabbing those two colours and putting it on top of the pencil that I just put under my eye, making sure not to go any thicker than what I've already put it. Then I'm just grabbing those same colours and putting it evenly across my lid, making sure not to go past my socket or my brow bone. Then I'm just going to grab a blender brush and make sure <laughs> blush, um, brush and blend it out so there's no harsh line. Like I said, this look has been requested, so that's why I'm doing it. Um, it's probably not the best thing to show off my makeup skills because it seems very, very simple, but it's what has been asked for, so that's why I'm doing it. So I'm just putting mascara on both top and bottom lashes, just thinly because I'm going to put false lashes on after. I did put a bit of mascara on my nose here, yep, and then I think I put it on my forehead trying to clean it. Yes, yes, I got frustrated. <laughs> um, just a thin coat, making sure there's no clumps so the false lashes don't look too weird. Now I'm just using the two lightest colours in that Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and I'm just blending it into that um, brown colour and blending it up into my brow. This will make the transition a bit nicer and it will also just highlight that brow bone a little bit.
Now I'm just lighting my lips with my Crayola lip liner. I'll put the colour in the description box thing down below. Um, I'm just adding a little bit of fullness to my top lip as it is a little bit thinner than my bottom lip. Now I'm just grabbing my Lime Crime Opaque Lipstick in Cosmopop. It is my favourite colour by them. It's so nice. It's like a nice orangey, but not too orange colour. <laughs> Their products are amazing. They're so opaque and so creamy and they're just amazing. Now I'm just using that same lip liner and adding a bit of fullness and sharpening up my lips. It's lash time. I hate lashes. I hate putting them on, but I love the way they look, if that makes any sense. Um, they do irritate my eyes a little bit. The, I don't think it's the glue. They just make them really red and irritated. Um, I don't put them on the wrong way. It's just the, the glue and all the makeup stuff going on. Um, lashes make everything look so much better, you, unless you go over the top and get the ones with feathers and diamantes and stuff like that. But some natural lashes, especially if you've got short, naturally short lashes, can just add and make all the difference to your makeup. I like putting mascara over my lashes. Some people don't, but my lashes are very straight, so they don't really connect with my face, fake lashes naturally. Um, so I just connect them together and add a little bit more fullness to my lashes by putting a mascara over the top. So that's basically it. So yeah, this is a practice video, so I'd love to know what you guys think. Um, I know there's a lot to improve, but I just thought I'd give it a try. <laughs> um, oh my god, how cute is my dog? How cute is that? Thank you all so much for watching, and I'd love to know what you guys think. So please comment below, thumbs up, and subscribe.